Hi, my name is Chad Nelson, and I'm a Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement Solution Specialist with Western Computer. In this video, we're going to review setting up queue routing rules. So we'll begin by logging into the Customer Service Module, going to Settings, and to Service Management. On the left-hand side here, you can see routing rule sets. So this allows us to create those rules related to the routing of specific cases. I've gone ahead and pre-populated one and added high and normal priority. So we've named this priority routing. I'm going to click the plus button here. We're going to add low. We're going to name this low priority. So case priority equals low then the condition is to route it into which queue so we're going to open that there's low and so now that is all set up so that when you create a case and you hit save you have the option of save and routing. So I'm now going to activate this rule. Hit activate. It's now active. Let's go test it. Let's now hit cases. So for example, I'm going to create a new case here. AC, what's it? AC unit, fan not spinning. Good friends at the A Dantum Corporation called us. Hit save here. Let's add that product in real quick. Save there. So you can see here we have the option. You can directly add it to the queue here or based on the priority that it's normal, high or low. So we're going to mark this as low. And then we're going to hit save and route. So now when I go to the queue to take a look, that case should be sent into the low and boom there it is that was directly routed to the AC unit fan not spinning low priority be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay alert of all the latest video releases surrounding Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagements